canvas, and there's a one count on Mr. Moto, however, as Lord Layton has a rather loose, short arm scissors on him. Mr. Moto now coming up top side here. Fort Judah cuts at the throat in here. And Lord Layton, apparently not hurt by them, just kicked out to get himself out of trouble. This quarter Nelson by Mr. Moto has some of the fans shouting choke. Break being ordered. Mr. Moto breaks. And Lord Layton drops the punch in there. Claim a foul by Mr. Moto as he goes over to talk to the champ, Joe Pazendak. Mr. Moto highly incensed. Lord Layton indicates he can't hear what he's saying. He can't understand it because Mr. Moto is shouting at him in Japanese. Wait a minute, Lord Layton is taking over to the meat grinder here. Joe Pazendak punishing away at him. They're calling for Lord Blair to rush into the ring, but Lord Layton is rescued by the two referees. And Mr. Moto right back again on Lord Layton. One, two, three, four. Count got to three, almost four. Mr. Moto stopped. If it had gone to five, he could have been disqualified. Failing to break on orders. Mr. Moto is trying for his famous sleeper hole, a hole that can bring on a brief period of unconsciousness. And the champ, you see, is slamming away there, and the referee is stopping from doing that. The count goes to four, and just does go to four, and almost on to five. And look at the judo cut for Lord Layton. Mr. Moto is supposed to be the expert on that. He tags, and Lord Blears comes in against Mr. Moto. And Lord Blears is ready for action. British nobility going a little bit wild here at the moment. Lord Layton just dropped one in there to keep Mr. Moto loosened up. And he hurries over to tag the champ and bring him in instead. Champ infuriated by the sudden turn of events here. Starting that famous double-handed attack, that softening up process of his. On the way and suddenly, Lord Blairs reverses with a leg lock and a toe hold. Moto started down the ropes, trying to break this punishing hold, this leg scissors that Lord Blairs has on the champ. And the champ is in real trouble. Maybe very close to a submission here for what could be the first fall. The champ goes to work on the hand, a favorite point of attack for him. We have three minutes left to go in the first round here. Three minutes remaining. And Lord Blairs tags in. Lord Layton comes in. Look how he towers over the champ. The champ again starting that double-handed attack, hitting with the heel of the hand, which is perfectly legal under the California rules. And Lord Layton is in trouble and big trouble. A judo cut of the throat. And Lord Layton hard at work on the champ. The softening up process is turning around. Lord Layton bouncing away there. Tags and Lord Blairs comes in. The champ is hurt. And Lord Blairs trying to get that first fall before the bell sounds to end our first round of wrestling under the Australian rules. Now he's going to let Lord Layton come in and try to finish up the champ with a surfboard. And here's a man with the length of arm and leg to really put on a surfboard. Very close, very, very close. The bell has sounded. Wait a minute, I think the bell sounded too soon. Mr. Moto comes in there. There was no submission. The time has run out. The time has run out. There was no fall. The time had expired in the first round here. Mr. Moto complains. Mr. Fuji in there also helping take care of the champ. Well, there you have the first.
first round in the main event here at the American Legion Stadium in Hollywood. I've just shouted to some of the crowd, and he's shouting it again. My back's all right. Well, let's see if it really is, because the warning whistle sounded, and our second round is coming up. Well, neither side having scored a first ball, the champ continues to shout, and the Sabat attack, and the double-handed slams, and the forearm smashes. Look at them as they're rained on Mr. Moto here by Lord Blairs, and the champ for getting in on the argument gets a little punishment on his back that he insists it was all right. He took a tag from Mr. Moto, and he's lifted, and a slam. Lord Blairs is going to let Lord Layton come in as the champ who said everything was all right is getting a real treatment here. Lord Layton, some 260 pounds, stands on the champ and just stands there. And it could be the champ might even submit. Not yet, not yet, but it's very close to a possible submission. Lord Layton is going to let Lord Blairs come in. And look at Lord Blairs go to work on the champ, trying to get what could be the first ball. Lord Blairs taking over for a full crab. A full crab. We could have our submission right now. We have. The champ has submitted. And the second round ends right here with Lord Layton and Lord Blairs. Lord Blairs actually putting on the full crab on the champ to take what amounts to the first ball of our match. A very quick ball and we'll get to the time in the second round for you in just a moment. Champ still complaining. The champ insists he did not submit. He's shouting I said no. But let's hear from Joe Taking, Strombo if we can uh, get it above the uproar. Ball in one minute nine seconds of the second round the team of Lord Layton and Lord Gleers. So this brings us to the end of the second round. Now in just a moment, the wrestlers will be back in action and we'll have round three.